Now this question says a square shaped farmland has a total area of 14,400 square meters. It's a square plot. So if the side is A, so A into A should be 14,400. So A is equal to 120 meters, right? The land is divided into square plot each of area 100 square meters. So again square plot area 100. So that should be 10 into 10. So that means the larger plot is of length 120 meters, width 120 meters. And the smaller plot is of length 10 by 10. So if I divide this, divide 120 into 12 parts, you will get each part equal to 10 meter and so on. Similarly, this side also 12 parts and so on. Like a chessboard. This will be a chessboard of 12 by 12. Right? So 10 meter slots. So this is 10 by 10. So this square plot is 10 by 10. This square plot is 10 by 10. That is 100 square meter. So like this, there will be 12 square plots here and there will be 12 rows. I'll write that. 12 rows of 12 smaller plots are there in this. The smaller plot is this one. Okay, that's the simple thing. Now comes the important part. In how many different ways can a rectangular section of land be selected such that it covers exactly 1800 square meters? So 1800 square meters means, it means 18 into 100. So we need 18 smaller plots, right? One plot is <coughs> uh, 100 square meter. So I need 18 such plots. But how these 18 plots should be spread across? Can I have it as 1 into 18? So one row of 18 plots. Can I have that? No. Because in any row, we have 12 plots only. So we cannot have that. So this is ruled out. Can we have 2 into 9? So two rows of nine plots. Yes, that is possible. How do we do the counting? It is exactly same as chessboard. So what I'll do is I'll just clean this up. So now I know that two into nine is one possibility and similarly three into six is also a possibility. We will have to do the counting one by one. Okay, so I'm going to do everything in detail. So please watch very, very carefully. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Don't worry about the size. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What kind of plot do we need? We need of structure 2 by 9. So please watch it very carefully. I'll just change the color, let's say the blue color. I take these two rows and I take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 up to this one. You see that? So this blue outline rectangular plot will be of area 1800 square meter. Right? Now I'll give the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if I'm taking horizontally in two rows together, this is one possibility where I'm taking from 1 to 9. Okay? So 1 to 9. Or I could take 2 to 10, or I could take 3 to 11, or I could take 4 to 12. Right? This is for 9 plots in 2 rows. Now, similarly, look at the rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 2 plots. How do you take it? You can take 1, 2. Or you could take 2, 3, or you could take 3, 4, or you could take 4, 5, and so on. So 1, 2, 2, 3, up to the last one would be 11, 12. So these are 11 possibilities and these are 4 possibilities. 
So for this size, 2 into 9, we have 44 square plots, 44 plots of area 1800 square meter that we can get, right? So please note down carefully. But this is only for this orientation where I have horizontal. Now the same thing can be, can we can have as a vertical orientation. So 1 to here and 1 to 9 here like this. Okay. So just double it. So 88 plots total of the dimension 2 into 9. Okay. We are done with only one case yet. Right. So I'm going to remove this. So I'll just write it here for... 2 into 9 orientation, we have 88 plots. Now do the same thing, but now I can do it a little faster. Okay, I don't need to draw, you can check yourself. The numbering just remember 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now why did I write 6? Because I, now I need 3 into 6. Here 1, 2, 3, up to 12. Right? Now I need 3 into 6 orientation. So I take 3 rows and I take 6 columns. So for columns, I can take from 1 to 6 or 2 to 7 or 3 to 8 or 4 to 9 or 5 to 10 or 6 to 11 or 7 to 12. Right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 possibilities for 6 plots in a row. Now I need to take three rows. So it could be one to three. Three plots like this in the row. So one to three, two to five, uh, two to four, three to five, four to six, five to seven, right? Six to eight, seven to nine, eight to ten, 9 to 11 or 10 to 12. So these are how many possibilities? 10 possibilities. So 10 possibilities here. Okay. So for horizontal orientation, we have 10 into 7, 70 plots for this size or this orientation, 70 plots. But this is only for horizontal orientation, something like this. Similarly, we can have vertical orientation. So it will be just double. So 70 into 2. So for 3 into size, 6 size, we have 140 plots. So total number of possibilities, total number of ways would be 88 plus 140, right? 88 plus 140, so 60, 28. Total 228 ways. This is the answer of this question. So please go through the video once again. If you still have a trouble, you can always get back.